years, I had heard about the game. And I have to be honest, I was eager to play. In this game, there are three suits. Three distinct suits, each with a story all their own. But they say the game had originally started with one. The first deck was made entirely from the minimalist. The next two suits are new to the game, and their arrival at the table is what tipped the scales for me. When I saw how these additions extended the pure utility-obsessed ethos of the original minimalist, I was convinced it was time to raise my own stakes and deal in. That brings us to the accomplice. More capacity. The accomplice's signature is a clipped corner bevel, like a corner crimped ace. The zipper detail ensures you can crack the seal quick and lock up smooth, like you were never there. That kind of access to the main cavity means your beans don't spill. Never. And with the cash strap shifted to the interior, you can survey your cards or cash undercover away from prying eyes. The accomplice carries and conceals more than cash and credit. Your bet can extend to include the calling cards of every mark at the table. Hell, it can even wrap around the hotel room key and a good luck charm. And the receipts for both if you're not being comped on game day. All this adds up to a full house of carry, sort, and shuffle options depending on how tight you want security for any given item. It's omnivorous appetite is a strong suit for players who like to keep their options open. The accomplice's spread includes the best premium 100% full grain Italian leathers, all stitched up with high tenacity Seraphil, same space thread they use on Teslas. And finally, we can shuffle in the diplomat. Until this, if you wanted to take the play international, you were stuck with useless sleeves, loaded wallet cases, or long unwieldy travel organizers. Nothing this discreet has ever made it to the tables. Outer access is smart and low profile, used for temporary staging of any and all travel documents. Tickets, passport, immigration forms, the inner pockets are scaled for travel cards or transit passes with carefully calculated access angles, creating phased measures of security, depending on what's needed and how quick things need to be at hand. The passport itself slides gracefully from outer pocket to the main cavity to the tender embrace of an internal cash strap. And foreign currency can be tucked in there too. The arsenal of simple systems share the same DNA as the minimalist. They're minimal. But the flexibility they create when taking your game over national borders and through other time zones is maximal. So there I was. I'd taken on the roles of both dealer and player. The hands had all been dealt, and each one lay face up across the table like a promise of things to come. Like an invitation to new adventures, or a confirmation to grab the one you're already on with both hands. Although they represent a modest kind of hope. They volunteer as accomplices to anyone daring mighty things. And after all that, who ends up the winners in this new game? That's the catch. Anyone can win. Like risk addicts in the British SAS like to say, he who dares, wins. I like that. He who dares, wins. So for now and always, I carry forward. And invite anyone I meet to do the same. Zoo! <laughs>